to episode 46 of my Let's Play of Elden Ring here on the Elusive Academy Lore Channel. And I'm in the schoolhouse classroom, schooling everybody. I'm the anchor assassin. My anchor is blasting. It ain't very fast and I might die. So I'm close to... I, I've been able to level up the... Uh, oops. I don't want that. I don't want that. Y'all can school me with your magic. I've uh, leveled up my uh, my Revenger Greatsword, the Grafted Greatsword, to a place where its damage is almost surpassing the Anchor's, but it's slower than the Anchor, so the Anchor still represents like a, a, a better DPS at this point. Yes, go back to your speak go back to your spots. Face your bookshelves. I'll approach you first. Good, good, good. All in our places now. That's why they call me the anchor assassin. Alright, now this this area. I might have to cheese. I'm okay with cheesing. Cheesing is achieving. Okay, what I really need to do, because that was not arrow efficient at all. Let's start out with a head shot. Follow up with a body shot. Oh, come on. Gotta time that better. But it's better than just waltzing in there. Yep. Why did that hit you? Do you have iframes while casting? Whoa! Whoa! Hello. Hello. Whoa! Can I stun it? Ooh. Pop boys are tough. Come on. Boom, baby. Smash it open. Woo! What's inside? Raw meat dumpling and living jar shard. Okay, so they're called living jars. I guess the evolution of crackpots. <laughs> And they always have these meat dumplings of questionable origin inside. Really makes me wonder what the hell is going on with these pots. Are they discarded from grafting? Are they completely separate from grafting? Do they just, like, exist in the world? Nope. Nope. Oh, another one, eh? Okay, well, why don't we all calm down, huh? Why don't we all just calm down? Why don't we take a step back? See, I've got my own sorcery. It's called Longbow. Ooh, no arrows, though. <laughs> well, I do have some serpent arrows and some bone arrows. It's like, it's like playing Space Invaders. Okay. Now we can craft some arrows that are better than bone arrows, hopefully. No, we can't. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody hasn't been picking up enough thin beast bones. That's me. Treasure chest. Into it. Oh, and I realized I didn't go behind us. Ritual Pot. Okay, well that's that's no coincidence that Ritual Pot is located so close to the Living Pot. So, let's go ahead and read the Ritual Pot at this point. This empty pot somehow mends itself when broken. Interesting. You could say almost like it's a living jar. Special item with greater durability than a crack pot. Essential vessel for crafting Ritual Pot items. 
materials and magics sealed within deploy their effects when the pot is thrown. Okay. Door. I think I actually am a, a longbow main for a lot of this a lot of this level, so I might as well buy some useful arrows from somebody. Conspect a scroll. Give that to Regier, perhaps? Let's see. Sorcery scroll from the Academy of Raelcaria. Details superior sorceries taught to scholars worthy of donning the stone crown and studying a certain conspectus. Can be given to a learned sorcerer. Gain access to the following sorceries, Gwynstone, the Comet Shard, and Star Shower. Cool, we need to find a sorcerer I can give those to. Uh, what else we got over here? Chest? And another cookbook. Wonderful. Alright, well, if we're going to be a longbow main for this episode, we might as well go back and upgrade our longbow. Let's see here. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Let's go to the round table hold. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my friend. I cannot help you right now. <clears throat> For I'm doing an episode of a Let's Play. I'm trying to get through this particular area of Raya Lucaria. But if you share your, uh, like, a password that you'd like to use to summon in the chat, I can do that after I'm done recording. All right, so let's see if we can buy some arrows and upgrade our longbow. First, let's see about upgrading the longbow. Might need stones three and four for that. Well, I took you my man to say out your own. Well, we got to strengthen. Okay, we need... Two more smithing stones, three. Yeah, I guess I guess I can do that when I get to the uh, when I get to the boss location. I just try not to spoil where the boss location is, but yeah. Let me put a password in that we can use after I'm buying some arrows. Let's see, we're going to purchase. We have shards one and two, but nothing else. Do you not sell arrows here? You do not. Right, we're going to have to go to the Church of Ella. Or, I guess, any merchant side shack. There's one over here that might have better arrows. That's the Bestial Sanctum. The Crystal Tunnel. Dragon Barrel Fork, Divine Tower, Isolated Merchant Shack. There we go. But yeah, I'm not sure how much help I'll be fighting the boss, but I'm down to co-op this level. And I've never actually put down my yellow sign before, so this will be the first time I can uh, boss fight. Also, I'm going to be taking my time getting through here. So, they, so don't tell me how quick the boss game is yet. I, I want to be surprised. All right. Let's see. You got arrows. You got serpent arrows. I'm kind of into these serpent arrows. They're 120 a pop. <laughs> Heavy poison buildup. I like that. Do we want to use our whole 12 grand on them? Do we? Probably not. That's stupid. Let's buy... I don't know, like 200 regular arrows? Maybe 150? And... Yeah, well, 
20, let's do 30. Let's already have some serpent arrows in there. Let's see here. We want regular arrows here. And serpent arrows here. Boom, boom. All right, we're ready for Raya Lucaria, finally. That's why it's always good to have a little bit of dex for your strength endurance builds. Even if your weapon doesn't require it. So, uh, I apologize, I don't read uh, Cyrillic, so I don't know your name, person in chat. But, um... I think we may need we might need a password to see each other summon signs, so we can we can decide on that. Sweet, easy. All right, so I think I can get the first one with the sneak. I time it right. So this outfit looks a lot like uh, reusing assets from the, uh, the choir garments, choir garb in uh, Bloodborne has that swooping piece of fabric. In fact, that's something that all of the sorcerers need to have. Boom, boom. And yeah, they don't hit right in front of you, do they? And you ain't got no shield, does ya? All right, now we turn into bow and arrow souls. The poor man's magic. Okay, let's go for one quick headshot. And then a quick body shot. Oh, wow, that didn't finish you? Hmm. If I can see them, they can see me. That's a good rule of thumb. God damn. Really did not want to proc them at the same time. And they're close enough that they reach over the stairs at this point. Can you not be hurt by the jar? I wish you could be hurt by the jar, too. Can you poison a jar? Let us see. Doesn't look like it. Let's try our jump attack. There we go. Three big hits with, a, with an anchor is all it takes, baby. Come on, that didn't hit you? That's all right, that did. Right, there's another guy back there. Frick. He might be too far away, though. Boom, baby. You gotta FPS a little bit, but it works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see you there. Oh, no worries, dude. Hope everything's okay for you, man. I'm glad that you uh, can find some time to play some Elden Ring. All right, let's take care of this guy first. Try something, dude. Just try something. Oh, you waited, huh? You waited for your chance. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. And I'm guessing the boss door is coming up soon. I see a faint yellow glow. this. Oh, cool. Get some stone. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Here we go. So, let's see. Multiplayer. Um, is there a password section? 
settings, password, two two three three four four five five. Okay. Yes. Yes, I can. I don't think I've used that item before. So let's put it on my wheel real quick. Uh, send a co-op sign. Create a summon sign, right? That's me. And I will be called Kinning Waxer. K-E-N-N-I-N-G Waxer. Let me type it in here for you. Actually, K-I-N-N-I-N-G. All right, and this should work, right? Now, if you use the, uh, if you use this item here on the on the left side of my quick menu, you should be able to summon me. I think I think that's how it works. You just got to put your password in first. Dimka. So you should be able to see this sign in your world if you have that password set in your multiplayer when you use your uh, your item. Let me know if it's working. This will let me come into. I think that's how it works. Let me know if you're running into any problems. Do you have the password set in your multiplayer? So you need the password set in your multiplayer, and then you need to use uh, you need to use this item. This item right here. Uh, oh wait, no, it's on my. Yeah, you need to use the furl calling finger remedy at this gate in your world. Just make sure that you've used the furl the furl calling finger remedy. That'll show you the signs, and then give it some time to show up. Make sure your password's in there. You want to use a sign instead? Oh, you used. Okay, cool. That'll that'll do it in my world, but not yours. Did you put yours right by the gate? Yeah, I don't see yours. Let me make sure my password is correct. Two two three three four four five five. Right. Yeah, I don't see you, Dimka. I'm not seeing you here, bud. I'll try putting mine down again. Yeah, I'm not sure, bud. Because I think if I use the thing that allows me to summon, it'll erase my summon sign. Because I can't, I, I can't access the other networks while I'm in the process of being summoned. But yeah, you should if you have that password in for multiplayer and you're using your uh, your furl calling finger item, then you should be able to see me. <laughs> but uh, and of course you are on PS4, right? I'm on PS4 right now. I'm not on PS5. Although I think PS4, PS5 people can play together. Oh, you need to craft the item. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, I can do that. We can take a look around this room in the meantime. Look at these strange photos. Because let me tell you, they are weird. All right, looks like we've got some sort of lineage of headmasters. Bunch of old bearded white guys. Classic, classic English literature. Now these guys almost look like twins. Let's 
let's see here. And these, this, that could be, that could even be illusion magic. It looks like they're dressed the same too, but they could also be twins. One holding a candle, one holding a book. Both seem to have the same medallion on. Actually, that one's faintly darker, but that could just be a lighting effect or a color effect. What else we got around this room? Lots of bird cages still. Some magic ore. A couple of statues. More bird cages. Secret door. Oh, wow. It is a secret door. Well, well, well. I'm glad you made me wait, Dimka. I would have missed this otherwise. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. A great boon. Let's put on my lantern because it looks dark and spoopy. Let's check around the corners. Ladder. Nothing. Item. Chest. Oh, you're a PC player. Yeah, I'm on PS4. This isn't going to work, buddy. Sorry. Stone sword key. Okay, before I come back in here, I'm going to remove my summon sign so I don't get summoned out. But yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, there's no cross platform, sadly. From Software is no good at that. It really sucks, but. But, I, again, I thank you for making me wait, because if I hadn't have waited, I would never, I guarantee you, I would not have believed this message and discovered this hidden area. Look at that. Quite a hidden area it is. Hidden wall. Yeah, no problem. I hope that you can, you can find a PC player to help you. If you go to uh, the Reddit page, r slash Elden Ring, there is a, the first post that's pinned to the top is actually a, um a group password for that entire for that entire subreddit um, so that you'll always have somebody to play with and they're all pretty good too because if they're subscribed to our Elden Ring you know you know they really care and they've probably been playing the game for a long time yeah I can use another sign sure so is there anything up here Perhaps another secret? Doesn't seem to be. More paintings? Oh, door? Interesting if it's just... Like, was there an item here that I just forgot about? Is there another secret bookcase? Wouldn't put it past them. But it would probably be denoted by something. Oh, perhaps behind here? Interesting. Interesting. Interesting indeed. <laughs> huh. Let's try this wall. This one. Okay, what are we going to see in here? Where am I? Where the heck am I? This is reminding me very much of Briergenworth from uh, good old Bloodborne. Oh, hey, little guys. I can't lock on to you, so that makes me feel, that makes me feel good. What is this? Raven School Talisman. <laughs> Little buddies, you came to life. I'm sorry I must smash you. If I could choose, I wouldn't, but you're trying to reduce my health, and I'm expressly against that. Mm. Anchor Assassin strikes again, y'all. All right, let's take a look at that talisman, eh? Uh, where is it? Here it is. A talisman depicting a school of graven mages, the nightmare of the academy. Ooh, the nightmare of the academy. A school of graven mages. Raises potency of sorceries. The primeval current is a forbidden tradition of glintstone sorcery. 
To those who cleave to its teachings, the act of collecting sorceries to fashion them into the seeds of stars is but another path of scientific inquiry. This is, this is bloodborne shit all over. This is like arcane. This is where faith meets intellect. This is why it's shunned by the sorcerers. And it just straight up raises the power of magic. Very cool. And look, it has two heads on it. You see that faintly? You see faintly in the art there? There's an upside down head and a right side up head right next to each other. And if I had to guess, that painting we saw earlier of the two old men, it could be some sort of representation of them. Like, why are there two old men in that largest painting? You don't know. Why are there two faces on here? It could also just be a reference to Berserk. Oh, very cool. It doesn't work cross-platform, Dimka. I'm sorry. I mentioned that uh, earlier. But yeah, PC and, um, and PS4 cannot play together, sadly. Okay, this is some cool, cool undercurrent of lore. So somebody here in the Academy was studying this shit. And notice we find this sort of forbidden, sort of heretical thing inside of the academy, in the room, with a bunch of juvenile living pots. So I'm imagining that there's some sort of maybe brain magics going on here, a la the, uh, the fishing hamlet. People, not the fishing hamlet people, the, um, the research hall people in the, in the Bloodborne DLC. There, there could be some dark magics here at work to grow these sorts of uh, strange talismans and the birthings of stars. Okay, now where does this lead? All speculation, of course, but I am a unified lore theorist. I, I do believe that Mizaki pulls from the same thread when he designs these worlds. Where am I? Ooh, okay. Not exactly a shortcut, because there's no way back around from that room. All right. Now, is it time to face the boss? I mean, did I already do this? I feel like I already did that. Well, it didn't bounce off, but... Ah, see, now that I discovered that one upstairs, it's re-triggered all my anxiety about these messages. All right, let's see who the boss is. Let's see who we got. After we found that hidden area, and for anyone just joining, the hidden area that we used to loop around is behind a hidden wall placed here. One of the few reliable hidden wall messages. And then when you get to the top of the rafters in this room, you need to go, you need to jump the banister on the far side of the wall and go through like a broken roof beam. You end up between the walls. That's so wild. All right. Let's see who we got in store. Let's drink our tonic. Well, let's get ready. Don't think I can summon spirits. Red Wolf of Radigan. Ooh, he hits hard, don't he? Hmm. Can see why he needed help with this boss. Oh, it didn't... Oh, just the frame before my healing went through. Man, Magic Wolf. I mean, I'm hitting him hard. If I can get, like, eight hits in on this guy, I'm Gucci. But I'm just not sure I'll be able to. Whew. Whew. Oh man, part of me wants to use a rune arc, but I'm not sure. I think it might be a waste. And my shield's not really going to be of any use against this guy, so I should just keep two-handing. Oh, and there's no shortcut back to him. Brutal. This is one of the toughest parts I've encountered so far. Alright, I think that's where we'll end this episode. And I will be back in like 10 or 15 minutes after this one fully uploads for the next episode. See if we can take on that boss. It's going to be a tough one, y'all. Just got to get in seven hits.